Amazon unveils indoor security drone. That's a bit creepy. The story comes from informedamerican.com. Uh, it, it, there's this thing. It's, uh, I don't even know how to describe this thing. It's like a, a dock with a floating surveillance camera, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> This thing is so strange. It's made by uh, Amazon's Ring. Uh, it's a flying home camera that you can ask to fly to check the stove while you're out. It takes flight when it detects movement in the house to show what's going on. Amazon has unveiled this new line of Alexa-powered Echo smart speakers. Uh, and we got a video here of this thing flying around. Now, by the way, if you're... Uh, so, yeah. So, the idea here is if, like, maybe somebody breaks into your house, it'll launch, and then you can see them i don't know this thing is just really creepy let's take a look at the video so we got our would-be criminal and then look at that thing oh, no. that guy said what the fuck and turn her <laughs> Okay. I love it. <laughs> You're gonna get one? I love it. Oh. I, I might. I don't know. Now, um, I, I know uh, home surveillance has become a, a bigger thing, and it, it has made the life of uh, of home invaders more difficult. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I have a ring doorbell. <laughs> yeah. So this but, would connect. Uh, this would connect to that, presumably as well. Well, I guess no, it has to cook, hook to your security system somehow because they have to know if someone's breaking in and then the, the drone picks up where I don't, you know. I, so it's like I would have to redo my entire security system. Yeah, well, you need to. You know what I mean? Like I, I like I don't have like, I mean, I have a security system, but it's not like ring. Do what I have to like, what I have to like get, what I have to like redo every, all the security stuff in my house. Yeah, it may be unless it could somehow. Um, Which sucks. Unless it could figure out um somehow it can talk to one another yeah now i mean if you're a if you're a criminal you might just i mean what would you, my reaction was i'm gonna this thing is looking at me i'm gonna kill it no yeah let's swat it down but i guess once they already got you on camera yeah well <laughs> i don't know how you I, yeah i mean i wonder like uh, i haven't checked the statistics like are, are home break-ins down because of this I, I, would, I would hope they are and this these kinds of security systems which which are able to um, you know, which is basically unthinkable for anybody but the rich uh, back in the day or even just a couple of years ago, really. Now you can get these little cameras installed in your home uh, fairly cheap, right? Yeah. I, I think um, this whole thing just shows you how important like cybersecurity is. Yeah. Because um, these things don't strike me as being very secure <laughs> as far as people being able to hack into them. No. Now it does say that um, uh, when, the thing, when the thing is shut, uh, the the camera is sort of inside, so when it's closed, it's it's not recording. Yeah. But so that means it's not recording all the time, which is I guess comforting. But the thing has got a now Amazon has a, an entire layout of your of what's in your house. Does that? No, so I don't. I I don't worry about Amazon necessarily spying on me. I mean more of like someone hacking into it. Like if I'm laying in my bed and or like I'm away or something like that, and like a criminal hacks into it. Right. Yeah. And slides it. So that like a criminal can like case my house or some shit yeah. while I'm asleep. You know what I mean? Like that, that, that's what worries me more. Maybe you're having a nice, uh, have a glass of wine with your wife. Things are getting intimate and uh, you look over your shoulder and then there's the big flag. It's some, it's some pervert that hacked my drone trying to get a peek. <laughs> that's what I worry about. To me, this is creepy. Um, I, I really don't think it's going to, I really don't think it's going to d deter criminals. Um, I, I, I mean, this guy, this criminal in his video, he's the most pathetic. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty cool. I would get it just to, like play with it and like chase my dog around the house or something while I'm, while I'm at work. That'd that be could be fun. Uh, what do you think about the idea that, uh, you know, if you want to check something like turning off the stove or something? That's awesome. Yeah, but then you need to have a smart stove because the drone can't turn it off for you. Well, yeah, but then it, I guess it's just peace of mind type yeah. deal right and then you can see him like well i know i gotta drive home now rather than like you know shit that did i leave it on you know what i mean then you gotta drive home and then you get in your house and you're like well shit i didn't leave the stove on so now i drove back for nothing at least then you have you know peace of mind you can save yourself a car ride if you need if you you know can oh i like that with my garage um uh, particularly my old house for whatever reason uh my old place i don't know why i never knew if i shut my garage <laughs> i mean every single almost every day I'd be like, you just couldn't remember. 
It's almost to the point where I got I to gotta write it down. That would be helpful. I don't know. It doesn't fly outside, but maybe if I had uh, something like that. Now, I mean, how for, yeah, I, I guess so. So maybe it's, maybe it's safety. Um, so you, you're a fan. I'm, I'm more skeptical of this. Uh, this says it's going to be about 250 bucks. I mean, that's not super expensive. No, that's not that much more than what the ring doorbells cost. I'd much rather have a security drone than a security doorbell. Yeah, that's not bad, but it's, it's 200 here, 250 there. And then, then you got to get the security system. And then if you, like I said, if you really did leave the stove on, I need a smart stove. That is a good $2,000. Well, you can't put your uh, price on security, Dave. (laughs) No, you cannot. (laughs) Even though they do. (laughs) (laughs) So I I think, so uh, this, this, this sounds like this might be lower level BS for you. I think it's, I think it's BS. I don't like this creepiness. In fact, um, I even had a, I think we talked about this before. I, I don't, anything that's like voice activated, I have turned off. I've got my Roku and my, I don't, Google Home Mini. Uh, my my Wi-Fi mesh system can respond to voice commands. I got all of it turned off. I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't know, it makes me feel really strange. But but you, you seem like you've embraced it. I, I, I embrace technology. Well, <laughs> I, embrace, I embrace technology with caveats. Um, yeah, I just don't like the listening in thing. And I guess there's really no way to, to avoid it. I, another thing too, I don't think this stuff is really smart enough yet um, for it to be useful enough for me to switch over. Like yeah. most that of the sense. stuff I could just type in myself faster yeah. than, or just as fast as, um, you know, asking, asking my Google assistant or, or, uh, or Alexa in that case. Yeah. I get, I get more excited thinking about like 15 years down the road, thinking about like, uh, you know, like, an implant in my eye where like I can like, you know, I don't have to pull out my phone. Like all my shit can just be right on my lenses. Kind of like, I guess remember when Google glasses was like, that was going to be the future. Do you remember yeah, those? Yeah. Right. That whatever happened to that, that failed. Absolutely nothing. Cause no one wants to sit there and walk around with those stupid little glasses on your yeah. face. Cause they look stupid. They're really but like, you know, yeah. You know, or just like being like, boop. And like a little hologram thing pops up and I'm just like, dude, dude, dude. You know, that, that's like, that's the kind of shit that I like thinking about like for the future. Yeah, I see. So I think I'm 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 more with you on on that point. Um, I just we're just not there yet. I, no. I don't think. I mean, you know, I can tell you can tell Alexa to turn off the light, but sometimes she turns off the wrong light, or you gotta yeah. say it three times. Remember when the clapper was like the epith- <laughs> like the like the the pinnacle of like technology? Like, dude, all you have to do is go like, and your lights will turn off. That was like the the craziest thing. I mean, Alexa is just a vo- is just a vocal is a voice commanded clapper. Yeah. Um, there is one really cool thing. This is really off topic, and I don't know if they still make it or not, but it was a, it was a light bulb that you plug in, and it connects to Wi-Fi, and it connects it connected to your TV somehow, okay. and it matched what you were watching on TV. Oh, yeah. That's the uh, Philips Hue, I believe. I think they still make that. Really? It was yeah, like yeah. something where like, so if like you're watching a scene and it's like really dimly lit, they'll like, like the lights will lower. So it like matches yeah, yeah. the scene like that. That's wild. Yeah. Or like if they're like on the ocean, it'll turn to like a blue or if yeah. they're in a forest, it'll go green. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Uh, so now see that, that, that is, that's useful tech. Um, but I think even that stuff to like, to get a rig like that, it's not cheap. Well, I think no. the bulbs themselves are like, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks or something. Yeah. But I'm not I, saying I can afford it. I'm not saying I'm going to have it. I just like the idea of it. That is cool. Because yeah. I, I have like a, I put just a simple LED strip behind my TV with a, with a remote. And I, I, I mean, I do the same thing manually, but it's not dynamic like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, that's like a $15 thing versus like a $200 thing. All right. So you've convinced me a little bit. This isn't quite as creepy as I, well, I don't know. I still think it's creepy. I just don't <laughs> like it. It's just weird to see just a, a thing with a camera flying around in my house. I, I don't know if I'll ever get over that. What about um, Roombas, Dave? I don't have one, but those are cool. I think they would scare my animals too much. Um, a Roomba would be cool. I wouldn't have a problem with a Roomba. Yeah. What if they put a camera on a Roomba? Well, what do they use? Well, they must was it use like a radar or something because it has I don't to know. find a way to – maybe there is a camera. I don't know. Yeah, I mean – yeah. So I just, it's just going to happen, isn't it? But my whole house is going to be under surveillance by somebody. Yeah. It's going to be like in the fifth element. I don't know if you watched the fifth element before yeah. when, uh, when, uh, what, what, God, what's his name? Zorg. Gary Oldman, when Gary Oldman knocked the glass off his desk and it shattered and like a hundred robots came out to like <laughs> clean up the glass and like sweep everything up. Like just from, they like automatically knew a glass broke. Like 
you know, that would be that, nice because I'm, I'm not the most tidy person in the world. Yeah. <laughs> I could use some help with that. Uh, I just in the back of my mind, I'm always afraid they're going to want, they're just going to turn on me and kill me. But yeah, yeah that's my, that's my cross to bear. 